Hello. In this session, we're going to focus on stepping up to a block and down. It's the fourth part of our balance series on how to move in a balance. You're going to start, I'm using a yoga block. You can use whatever prop works best for you. The firmer the surface that you're stepping on is, the easier it is to balance on. The softer, like a foam, is going to be harder. If the foam block is too high for you, use something lower, like a yoga mat folded up in half or any kind of thing that is not too slick but will stay in place as well. All right? I'm going to start with one foot on the block, other foot on the floor. Your block knee is bent. If you're using something that's not like a vertical staff, you can use a piece of furniture. That support system I recommend being on your non-block side. You can use it on the block side as well, but most people prefer it on their non-block side. All right, here we go. You have both knees bent to start. Like we did in all the other videos, you're gonna shift over to the block side foot. Get your weight over that without the hip pressing over to the side. Keep the block knee bent, pick up the floor side foot as much as you can. Stay, straighten that block knee. Bend the block knee, keep the knee bent, bring the other toe heel to the floor, and shift to two bent knees. Great job. All you do is shift your weight over the block leg with the bent knee. Pick up your floor side heel toes if you can. Straighten that block knee. Easy, breathe. Bend the block side knee. Bring the toes heel down to the floor if you can. Then shift over both legs. One more time. Shift your shoulder and hip to be over the block without the hip pressing over to the side. You gotta pick up the floor side, heel and toe if you can. Toes can stay on the floor. Straighten that block side knee, great. Bend that block side knee, great. Toe to the floor, heel to the floor, shift back to two legs. Straighten your floor leg and rest. Great job. Other side. And it might seem like this is a lot of specificity, but when it comes to balance, people have an easier time balancing on a bent knee because there's a lot more adjustments you can make in all the kinetic chain from your ankle, knee, and hip, and torso versus a straight leg. It's far more supportive to balance with a bent knee than a straight knee. That's where we're focusing on all of this. Here we go, enough talking. Bend, your legs are about hip distance apart. Shift your weight, shoulder, and hip together over that standing leg. Stay here, pick up the floor side, heel, maybe toes, straighten the block side knee, easy. Bend the block side knee, great. Bring the floor side toes, maybe heel down, come back to two knees bent, evenly weight as much as you can. Shift over the block side, keep the block knee bent, pick up the floor side, heel, maybe toes, straighten the block knee nice and tall, bend that block knee, bring your toes, heel towards the floor, Come back to two legs. One more time. Shift your weight over the block with the bent knee. Pick up the heel and toe if you can. Push the block down to stand up nice and tall. Great job. Bend that block knee. Stay. Toes, heel bone down if you can. Shift over two legs. Straighten the floor leg to stand tall and rest. Great job. And now we're going to transition forward here. I'm going to have the, again, your prop of support. It's gonna be opposite side arm of the front leg. So my right leg is forward, my left hand has the staff. Do the opposite side. The other leg is behind, is hip distance. It's not behind the block directly. It can be, but that's much more challenging. It's just hip distance. Bend both knees here, here you go. All you do is you shift forward, bending the front knee more. You've shifted so far forward that you're gonna try and lift the back toes off the floor if you can, without the hip pressing out to the side. Straighten that block knee, great. Bend your block knee gently. You can lean forward to help you do that. Toes to the floor, shift back, heels down, both knees bent. Again, shift forward, the back heel may lift. Try to pick the back toes up off the floor or just gently have them down or tap the floor. Press down to stand tall, really great job. Bend that block knee, bring the toes towards the floor behind you. Shift back, both knees bent, both heels down. One more. Shift forward, the back heel can lift, get way far forward of that front leg. Again, you shift forward and over the leg. Pick up the back toes if you can. Push down, stand up nice and tall, great. 
bend the block knee, toes towards the floor behind you. Make sure it's not crossing behind you directly. It's behind the hip, not behind the block. Then shift back, bend both knees, two heels down. Other side, really great job. Again, your legs are hip distance apart as much as you can, a little wider is fine. Easy, both knees are bent, staff on the opposite side arm or front leg. You shift forward in space, the back heel can lift. Pick up the back toes if you can. Push down on the block, stand up nice and tall. Now as you bend, make sure the hip doesn't go out to the side, the knee goes forward, the hip goes back, toes reach to the floor behind the hip, not behind the block. Shift back, two knees bent, two heels down. Shift forward, so far forward, they can easily pick up those back toes without moving the hips any higher or forward. Stand nice and tall, straighten the block side knee. Bend the block side knee, knee goes forward, hips go back a bit. Reach the toes to the floor, shift back, two heels down, two knees bent. One more time. Shift forward, the back heel can lift. Try to pick up those back toes if you can. Push the block side leg to down to straighten that block side knee. Rebend it. Reach the foot towards the floor behind you. Toes down. Shift back. Two knees bent. Heel down. Really great job. Nice work. Then you're going to try the block being behind you. We're going to start standing on the block. I still have my support on the opposite side arm. Use a wall. Use whatever works best for you. We're going to start standing. It's a little bit different. You know, bend your block knee, reach the other foot forward, toes towards the floor. That's right. Shift forward, bend both knees, two heels, try to make contact with the block and floor if you can. So if you can't step that far forward, don't step that far forward, trying to get that back ankle to really bend. Now you shift back in space, try not to let the hip go out to the side. You shift back so far, shoulders over hips, that you try and pick up the front heel, front toes, then straighten that block side knee. Great job. Bend the block knee. Reach the other foot forward, toes to the floor. Bend both knees, shift forward. Two heels, try to press down as much as you can. You just shift back, easy breathe. Try and pick up the front toes if you can. Straighten the block knee to return. Really good job. Again, bend the block side knee. Easy. Reach the other foot forward. Toes down if you can. Bend both knees. Shift forward. Two heels down without the hips going one way or the other. Knees not coming together. Great job. You shift back in space. Keep the hip over the block. The front heel can lift. Back knee, block knee stays bent. Try to pick up that front foot if you can. Toes can tap. Straighten that block knee to return. Bend the block knee, bring the other foot down, and switch sides. Really great job. That one's just a little bit different because it's, it's a step down. I just th I think it's more organic for people to feel a step down than normally do. Usually you don't start and go back and forward. Anyway, it's just a psychological thing more than anything else. Too much explaining. Here we go. Stay tall. You just bend your block side knee. You start standing on the block. Reach the other foot forward. Toes try to touch the floor. Then you're going to bend both knees, shifting forward, two heels, try to touch the floor in the front and the block in the back. It's going to be a big ankle movement for that back foot. You shift back in space, the front heel can lift, shoulders over hips, hip nut off to the side. Can you pick up that front foot, keeping the block knee bent, then straighten that block leg to return. Good. Bend the block knee. Reach the leg forward, toes to the floor. As you bend both knees, bring the front heel down, back heel tries to stay down. Really good job. You shift way back in space, keep the block knee bent, front heel bone can lift. Can you pick up those front toes, keeping the block knee bent? Straighten that block knee to stand tall. Really good job. Again, bend that block knee. Easy. Reach the other foot forward, toes towards the floor. Bend the front knee, front heel down, back heel down, both knees bending. Great job. Shift back in space, try not to let the hips go to the side. You shift back in space, the front heel can lift. Keep the block knee bent. Keep the block knee bent, pick up the front foot if you can, and then straighten that block side knee. Great job. Bend the block side knee, bring the front foot down, and then gently step down. Excellent work. Now, we're going to try it without the staff. If you feel you that's too much for you, keep going with it. 
You can also just do it next to a wall for that support that you may not that you may need. One foot on, other foot off. Both knees bent. It's on your side. Shift over the block. Block side knee stays bent. Pick up the floor side heel, maybe toes. Straighten the block knee. Bend the block knee. Reach the toes to the floor. As the heel comes down to the floor, shift over both legs. Keep your knees bent. Again, just shift over the block without the hip going to the side. Keep your shoulder over hip directly. Pick up the floor side heel, maybe toes. Then straighten the block side knee. Bend that block side knee. Keep it bent. Reach the toes to the floor. Then shift two heels down between two legs evenly. One more time. Shift over the block, keeping the block side knee bent. The floor side heel might lift. Keeping the block knee bent, pick up the floor side toes if you can, or tap the floor a bit. Straighten your block side knee. Great job. Bend your block side knee. Reach the toes towards the floor. Then bend both knees, bring the heels back down square. Center, good job. Other side. Excellent work. Both knees are bent about hip distance apart. Shift your weight over the block. Uh -huh. The heel can lift on the floor. Keep the block knee bent, pick up the floor side toes if you can. Straighten that block knee nice and tall. Bend the block knee. Keep the block knee bent, toes to the floor. Bring the heel to the floor, both knees bent, shift between two legs fairly evenly. Again, shift over the block first, try not to let the hips go out to the side, shoulders over hip, ribs over hips. Easy, pick up the floor side foot if you can. Straighten that block knee, great. Bend the block knee, easy. Reach the toes towards the floor. Push the heel down, both knees bent. One more time. Shift over the block, keep the block knee bent. Pick up the floor side foot, keep that block knee bent. You decide to straighten that block knee. Really good job. You decide to rebend that block knee, keep it bent. Reach the toes towards the floor, bring the heel down, even between your legs. Great job. Put the block in front of one hip directly. Right? So it's not in front of both legs evenly, it's in front of one hip. Specifically, it's not in front of the other leg. Put one foot forward on the block. Both knees bent. Shift forward, the back heel can lift. Pick up that back foot. Try not to let the hip go out to the side. Straighten that block knee nice and tall. When you bend the block knee, hips can go back. You can lean forward a bit, no big deal. Reach the toes to the floor behind you. As the back heel comes down, shift back, both knees bent, two heels down. Shift forward and over that block lately we talked about in the other videos. Back heel can lift. Pick up those back toes if you can. If not, just keep the toes on the floor. Straighten that block knee. No big deal there. Rebend that block knee. Lean forward a bit. Toes to the floor behind you. Don't cross behind the block. They go behind the hip. Shift back. Two heels down. Great job. Shift forward. The back heel can lift. Stay here. Hips don't go any higher. As you just pick up the back foot, your block knee stays the same level of bent. Then you straighten to stand tall. Great job. Then you rebend it. Keep it that level of bent. Reach the foot behind you towards the floor behind the hip, not behind the block. Shift back, two heels down, and switch sides. Really great job. Other leg, and the block's in front of the other leg and hip directly. Other leg is off to the side. Both knees bent. Shift forward. You shift forward and over the block without the hip going off to the side. Back heel can lift. Toes lift up. Try not to straighten this leg yet until the foot's off the floor or tapping the floor, whatever you do. Straighten the block knee confidently. Great job. Rebend that block knee. You can lean forward, hips can go back. Toes to the floor behind you. Shift back, two heels down, two knees bent. You shift forward, the back heel can lift. You go forward and over the block directly with your whole body. Pick up the back foot or tap the floor. The front block knee stays bent. Straighten to stand tall. Really good job. Bend that block knee. Lean forward, hips back, toes towards the floor behind you. Shift back, two heels down. One more time. Shift forward and over the block directly. Back heel can lift. Front block knee stays bent. Pick up those toes, block knee stays bent. Then you decide to straighten that block knee nice and tall. You decide to bend it. Hips back, lean forward, toes to the floor behind you. Don't cross behind the other leg. Don't cross behind the block. Heel down, shift back. Really great job. The block is going to be behind you in, in, in your mind, but you're going to start standing on it. This one's just a little bit different to start. It's the same motion. We just start it in a different place. Great. You bend your block knee. Reach the other foot forward, toes to the floor. 
as you bend the front knee, two heels come down, the front heel and the back heel are trying to touch something literally. You shift back in space, the front heel can lift, hips don't get to go out to the side. Keep the block knee bent, pick up that front foot if you can. Straighten that block knee, two more to go. Bend the block knee, easy. Reach the other foot forward, toes to the floor. The heel come down, it can come down as you bend both knees. Both heels are really trying to touch something strongly there. <laughs> Shift back in space. The front heel can lift. Keep your hips, ribs and hips connected. Keep the block knee bent. Pick up that front foot. Breathe. Straighten that block side knee. One more time. Bend that block knee. Easy. Reach the other foot forward. Toes to the floor. As you bend the front knee, two heels making contact with the floor in the front, the block in the back. Easy. Shift back without the hips going one way or the other. Pick up the front heel, toes down. Keep the block knee bent. Pick up the front toes if you can or tap the floor. Decide to straighten that block knee. Bend your block knee to step down. Really great work. Other side. Again, we start standing on the block. Easy. Uh -huh. Reach the leg forward, not very far. Just your toes towards the floor, touching the floor. Bend the front knee, front heel down. Two heels make contact with something. Again, make sure you're not crossing over the front, just goes forward directly. Easy. Hips and ribs shift back over the block. Take your shoulder width to front heel may lift. Keep the block knee bent. Pick up that front foot if you can. Straighten the block knee to stand tall. Really great job. Again, bend that block knee. Reach the foot forward, toes to the floor. As you bend the front knee, bring the front heel down, back heel stays down, shift forward. Hips try not to go one way or the other. Ooh. Shift back, shoulders, ribbon hips shift back, front heel can lift, keep your block knee bent. Keep your block knee bent, pick up that front foot, and then straighten that block side knee. One more time. Bend that block side knee. Great. Reach the leg forward, toes to the floor. Bend the front knee, two heels make sweet contact with something very specific, the floor and the block, you got it. Now, ribs, shoulders and hips go back in space, keep the block knee bent, pick up the front heel, then pick up the front toes if you can, keep the block knee bent, straighten the block knee to stand tall, really tall, great job. Bend that block knee, step down directly, and rest, really great job. So the whole concept there is that when you're standing on one leg, it's safer to bend your extended leg to catch yourself. Many people, I see it everywhere, tend to step off of things with a straight leg. It is much harder to control the descending action with a straight knee. You have a lot more strength and control with a bent knee, right? It's much safer, but also stronger for the long haul. You wanna make decisions about when are you straightening that leg, you're stepping up and then you bend it to come down. Because conversely, people also tend to jump on top of things versus stepping and then pushing. They tend to almost come down by lifting the other heel up to step up to things. You want to put your foot down first with the bent knee and then you decide to straighten that leg. Thing to come down, you decide to bend your knee to descend. It's those little decisions that have a large impact for your long-term health and well-being. And this will definitely increase your capacity to balance in many situations across the board. I've talked a lot. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe not the talking, but everything else. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to exercising with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.